a mixture of ideal gases has the following composition by mass so nitrogen is 60% oxygen is 30% and carbon dioxide is 10% if the universal gas constant is 8314 joule per kilo mole kelvin the characteristic gas constant of the mixture in joule per kilogram kelvin is we know that the characteristic gas constant that is r bar let's say r bar is equal to the real gas constant r divided by the molecular mass capital m of a gas all right now for a mixture now we are mixing these three gases nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide so we can write because universal gas constant is will always remains constant so r bar for n2 will be equal to r divided by molecular mass of n2 r bar of o2 is equal to r divided by molecular mass of o2 and r bar of co2 is equal to r by molecular mass of co2 okay now total molecular mass mt will be equal to mass of nitrogen plus present in the gas plus amount of oxygen present in the gas plus amount of carbon dioxide present in the gas okay and r of mixture the gas constant of mixture will be m n2 into r bar of n2 plus m o2 into r bar of o2 plus m co2 into r bar of co2 whole divided by total mass m t okay now let's calculate this so mass of nitrogen is 0.6 times total mass so 0.6 mt and r bar of nitrogen is real gas constant r divided by molecular mass of nitrogen so molecular mass of nitrogen is 28 plus oxygen is 30% so 0.3 times of total mass multiplied by the universal gas constant divided by the molecular mass of oxygen which is 32 plus amount of carbon dioxide which is 10% of total mass into the universal gas constant divided by the molecular mass of co2 which is 44 and whole divided by mt the total mass okay so mt we can cancel out and the value of r we already know so this will be 0.6 by 28 times of r plus 0.3 by 32 plus 0.1 by 44 whole multiplied by r which is 8314 joule per kilo mole kelvin so this will be so r bar of mixture will be 274.996 joule per kilogram kelvin okay so let's fill in the blank here the answer will be 274.99 or you can also write equivalently 275 okay and the unit is joule per kilogram kelvin for more information you can refer to the nptel course lecture number 30 gas mixture on steam power engineering by professor vinayak n kulkarni of the department of mechanical engineering at iit guwahati